Hello, myself uh, Deepak Shirbhate. I am working as a principal of Vikram Shila Polytechnic Dharapur, Taluka Dharapur, District Amravati, Maharashtra State of India. And today I am going to demonstrate you VRML tumbling boxes using Vivati Studio. So actually this wall builds a batch of uh, perpetually tumbling boxes like this. This is our objective means we want to create uh, the world of three boxes which are rotating about x, y and z axis and mixing with each other. So this was the actually uh, objective of this particular exercise. But of course we will not do in the same manner. <clears throat> we will carry out the entire exercise in a different manner which will be very compact and which will be very easy for understanding. So this type of uh, tumbling boxes I want to create. Okay, and these box three boxes are there which are rotating about their axis and they are getting mixed with each other. So that this is our objective. So trick for creating the tumbling boxes. So what is the trick? The VRML world shown in the previous slide was created out of complex VRML programming. As I have explained that that was a complex programming where we have used Proto and all those things. So it will be very difficult to carry out such type of programming by the uh, new user. So my objective is to create similar effect with simple and compact method. So we will be creating some simple and compact method which which uh, everybody can understand or particularly the new user can understand. First, I will create three boxes rotating about X, Y, Z axis. I will place them apart so that the rotation about X, Y and Z axis can be clearly seen. So placing the uh, boxes apart from each other will clearly show you in which direction they are rotating or about which axis they are rotating. Then all the three boxes will be brought together to create the similar effect as shown in the world of tumbling boxes. So this will be our methodology. So component of axis rotation is very important in, in this particular exercise. So component of axis rotation means about which axis the object is going to rotate that is called as component of axis rotation. So here I have encircled the rotation axis. One represent that the object will be rotating about the X axis. Here the letter one means uh, y, y axis one means the Y axis com uh, y component of axis of rotation is one. It means that the object is going to rotate about Y axis. Here you will see that the Z component of axis of rotation is 1. It means that the object is going to rotate about the Z axis. So this is very important. Now trick. Activate the axis of rotation by bringing the value 1 instead of 0 in the appropriate box of rotation. So there will be minus 90 or plus 90 type of button. You just click on those button and see that your box will contain 0. 1 instead of 0. As far as possible use same color of boxes so that uh, uh, boxes as that of the default axis symbol for better understanding. So we will be using the default uh, red, uh, uh, green and blue color. So same color boxes will be used. So first of all we will be creating three separated boxes which will be at a distance of two units apart from each other and they will be rotating about their axis. So I'm advancing that box by two units in X direction. Now we will create another box. We will place it at 0, 0, 0. We will change the color to green. Then I will advance the box in Y direction by two units. Now create the third box 
make all the coordinates 0, 0, 0, change the color and advance it by two units in Z direction. So these are the three boxes, which are two units apart from each other. Now they are very clearly visible. Now we will be activating the axis of rotation. Here the axis of rotation will be X. Here the axis of rotation will be Y. Here the axis of rotation will be it is default that Z will be the axis of rotation. So though there is no need to change anything. Now we will create the time sensor. The time sensor <coughs> will have the time period of 4 seconds. Auto start. Now we will animate box 1. Box 1 is a red one. So I am dragging the uh, frames. and I am changing the snap from 90 to 180. So you just add the increment of 90 degrees. Now from 180, adding 90 will be 270. From 270, we will go to the rotation of 360, 360. And from 360 plus 90, it will be 500, uh, 450. 450, 450. That's complete the animation of the red box. Now you just bring the slider back to the position and you can see the reverse rotation. Okay. Now create another time sensor. Again the period will be 4. Auto start. We will be adding the node. Our node will be box 2. Box 2 will be added. Animation <coughs> timeline. Again, repeat the same procedure. Add 90 degree for each second. So 90 plus 90, 180, 180. Next position will be 180. Then 270, 270, then 360, 360, and the last one is 450, 450, 450. That's complete is the animation of the green box. Now we will animate the box which has been advanced on Z axis that is the blue color box. Again the period will be of 4 seconds. Again it will be auto in the auto start mode. Animation node will be box 3. On the animation timeline you just add 90 degree after every one second so bring the slider to one at 90 degree bring the slider to two add 90 plus 90 that is 180 degree bring the bring the slider to 3 and it will be 270 degree 270 degree bring the slider to 4 second at the end of 4 second and it will be 360 degree so this completes this completes the animation of the third box. Now we will see the preview. Now in the preview you can see that all the three boxes are rotating about their axis. The red box is rotating about x-axis. 
the green box is rotating about y axis and the blue box is rotating about the z axis now editing the same file will work unfortunately editing the same file to bring back all the three boxes will not work because of the following reason so if you are planning that you will edit the the present file and bring all the boxes to 0 0 0 position and you will get the animation of tumbling boxes then it is not true you will not get that effect this is because of the following reason the reason is the time sensor time sensor has animated all the three boxes at a distance of two units apart time sensor will retain their position and therefore just bringing the boxes together will not work this is due to the fact that when you select node for animation time sensor records node, the node with its position just yes, changing the position will not affect animation anymore and therefore editing position does not reflect in animation so what is the remedy the remedy is that this problem can be solved by changing the position and redefining time sensor with new position just delete all time sensors reposition all boxes that is bring them to 0 0 0 position and and animate and animate the node again so this is the remedy So we will animate the notes again. So this is the animation of the second box. That is a green color box. Add 92180 that is 270. 270 plus 90 360. And 360 plus 90 that is 5 450. Let's complete the animation of the green color box. Now we will animate the third box. The third box is a blue color box. Bring the slider to first at the end of first second at 90 degrees of rotation. Bring the slider to second second at 180 degree 
of rotation bring the slider through the end of third second at 270 degrees 270 Last one is 360 degrees. So that completes the animation of the tumbling boxes. Now we will have a quick preview within the VYT studio. Quick preview is available. And this is the required output that we were expecting. So the beauty of this particular tumbling box is that we can give different colors also. In the original code you might have seen that only gray color was available, but in the in this particular say demo we can give different colors. So thanks for watching my video. For any query or clarification, you can contact me on my contact details. You can download the code which is av uh, available on the link given in the description. Thank you.